Hello wonderful person, welcome to Mars. In today's video, I have some bad news for you. In regards to terraforming Mars, we might not be able to do it in the next few decades after all. Let's talk about this and welcome to What The Math. I think at this point, pretty much everyone that has ever watched TV has either seen, watched, or read a story or a book that involves some sort of a colonization or terraforming of this beautiful red planet that you see in the back. But a recent paper by Christopher Edwards from Northern Arizona University and Bruce uh, Jakowski, a NASA scientist involved in many missions that usually um, relate to Mars, unfortunately uh, make the dream of terraforming Mars very problematic. Now let's talk a little bit more about what they actually discuss in their paper. And it really has to do with the atmosphere of Mars. Why? Well, because if we want to terraform this planet, in other words, if we want to actually at some point melt the ice here and basically create uh, liquid water and breathable atmosphere, we need to first start by increasing Mars's temperature, but also its atmospheric pressure. So in other words, if we were to give Mars more atmospheric pressure, it would most likely be enough for us, uh, assuming there is enough uh, greenhouse gas here, to create livable conditions here, and the water would actually melt by itself. And you'll see this happening in a few seconds as I accelerate time. And you can see that now Mars has livable conditions, uh, pretty comfortable atmospheric pressure, and also good temperature, but also liquid water, which is very, very important. Unfortunately though, to get here, we need to have enough CO2, but also enough atmospheric pressure to begin with. So the scientists behind this paper decided to try to calculate how much CO2 or how much carbon dioxide can we actually uh, try to produce on Mars using local resources, but also using realistic modern technology that we might have today. And what they discovered is not unfortunately good. They found out that even if we were to uh, combine our efforts and basically send every single machinery we have on Earth to try to extract CO2 from Martian crust, we would only be able to create an atmosphere that provides about three times more CO2 than Mars currently has, but unfortunately that only gives it atmospheric pressure of something like 2% of the atmospheric pressure on Earth which is about 50 times less than it needs to warm up enough to melt the water and to create uh, liquid oceans here. In other words, to have this liquid water, we would need to somehow find a way to generate way, way more CO2, and we just don't have the technology for it right now. Mars will most likely remain an uninhabitable planet for quite some time, and the only hope we have for it right now we're probably not going to see this anytime soon. The only hope we have is to create something that resembles a colony. So we can definitely colonize Mars. We can definitely create these beautiful domed cities with actual human habitation um, inside. But until we invent some sort of a really advanced technology to actually generate more atmosphere and more CO2 on Mars, we're not going to be able to get anywhere to terraform in it. There is just chemically not enough stuff there. So it's very, very likely that Mars is going to remain the way that you see it here for, I would say, another 100 years, maybe. I don't think there's actually any way to solve this problem because if you don't have enough stuff to create atmosphere and you can't obviously bring enough uh, CO2 or, of course, oxygen uh, using spacecraft, you're obviously stuck on this dry, uninhabitable planet. Now, maybe they will find a way to redirect an asteroid here or something else that will actually bring all this material that Mars needs to have terraformable conditions. But as of now, we have no such technology. So I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but it looks like we're going to be stuck with these domed cities and the science fiction-like look for quite some time. Don't expect Mars to look like Earth anytime soon. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say in this video. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this, and want to see more science and space videos, subscribe, like this video, and potentially click that bell button to be notified about the next video as well. I'll see you guys tomorrow. 
come back to learn something else you may have not known, space out, and as always, bye bye. And maybe even consider supporting this channel on Patreon because it does help me a lot. See you guys later.